Hold up, we got some ones up here. We got some dunks right here, that's crazy. Ooh, hold up, we got some dunks. What's up guys, today I'm going to every Nike outlet near Philadelphia to find out which Nike outlet has the best sneakers and I'm doing it all in 24 hours. Let's get to it. Man, they got all sorts of stuff still here. I think these are the only sizes available, but they've got Jordan 1 lows, Jordan 7s. I've never even seen these. These are some sort of Jordan mid, Jordan 6 lows, the 2s, 13s. Look at these dunks. These are actually fire. I might actually grab a pair of those. Those are sick. Of course, the Cardinals, LeBrons. They have everything, even the LeBron 20s. Ooh, and the Crafts. This is a giant size, though, size. Let's see, 16. Way too big. Yeah, I might have to grab some of these. Maybe these dunks. I like these a lot. Some Jordan Delta 3s in a really nice pink colorway. Got some fly traps. A lot of decent stuff. I'm not seeing anything crazy, but oops. My bad. Oh. Found these ISPAs that are crazy. Look at these. These are nuts. I've never seen these before. Wild. What size? Size 13. Probably not gonna grab those, but cool to see. I did see one other shoe here. Here we go. The Air Jordan 2. Nina. Chanel, Nina Chanel, I don't remember what her name is. These Air Jordan 2s are really clean. Brand new, actually. I might have to grab these. What size? Size 11, women's, 9.5 men's, retail 225. Not bad. I might grab these. We also got the uh, LeBron's, too, in this really nice colorway. Size 11, yeah, really clean. I really like these a lot. I might actually grab these just for myself, the rock. Never seen these before. What are these? They're dropping so much today. These are nuts. Jordan somethings. Jordan Super Play. Good on those, but interesting slide. All right, so up here we got some Special Force One Highs, or sorry, Air Force One Special Forces in this brown leather colorway. I really don't like the colorway at all, but I remember when these were popping. It's kind of crazy to see these in an outlet. Ooh, got some LeBron Twos. Nice colorway too. For how much? 210, full retail. That's cool. What are these? Woodland Suede's. I thought they were the uh, Tom Zacks for a second, but they're not. Got some Air Griffey's, Air Griffey Max Ones in this nice uh, colorway. And then I saw another shoe I really like that I might grab. The Social Status Air Penny 2s. For how much? 200 full retail, but a size 11. The problem with these is that they go for way under retail online, so I might, well, let's check. Let's check them out. Oh, they are worn though. That's tough. I'm gonna have to leave these. That's a bummer. So last time I was in the women's refurbished section, I found the Air Jordan 3s. Kind of hoping to find something like that again, but probably won't. Actually, there's a size 9 of these, which are my size, so I might switch these out. Size 9. It's in the size 9 and a half. Because, oh, they got another 9 up there. Because I prefer grabbing one of my size. It's condition like on these guys. Let's see. Solid. Sweet. Wow, we got a lot of women's Jordans over here. We've got Dunks. Got the uh, threes that we just grabbed last week, except for $100 less. Got some more dunks. Got these guys, got the ones. Dang, these are sick. So I came back to this wall, really hoping to find something to grab, and there's nothing in my size. Everything's either too big or too small. These dunks might be, but let me check. Oh, nine and a half. Okay. I might actually grab these. They're 140s, that's a lot, but I do like them a lot. Got a bunch of the, uh, the almost space jams, the almost breads, the almost cool grays, <laughs> the almost Travises. Some Nike Air Penny Ones in this nice black and tan colorway. A bunch of running shoes today. Like a bunch of them. I guess they always have running shoes, but definitely in particular today. Got some pickups. Nothing like crazy DOIs, but definitely some stuff that I'm excited about. And of course, today on foot, we've got the Air Jordan 2s, the OGs. Okay, so here are the pickups that we have. We've got the Nina Chanel, and then I got some shorts, which are separate for me, and then I got the Nike Dunk Highs. But we'll check these out more once we get back to my spot. Someone just bought out all these. I don't know what they were, but they were just there. Some other Air Forces, some Air Forces, probably some kind of Air Force. I'm assuming all whites or something. Got the white maroon, looks cool. Got a bunch of Nike Air Trainer ones for 100 bucks, 30 bucks off, 25 bucks off. Some bronze, the fake outs, the fake out ones. Hold up, got some ones up here. Probably for full retail, but still cool to find. I might actually grab these. The last time we found these was at the, the outlet we were just at. Found them for, I think it was full retail as well, but they had the box top, obviously. So, still not a bad pickup though. I really dig these blazers. I love that for real. It's sick. So last time I was here, I found a pair of shoes. I forget what it was. And uh, there was Air Jordan 4s right underneath it. Air Max 1s, say Nike on the back. Never seen those before. Four. 
and I miss them. I, I'm sure they're gone, but it's totally been cool to see them again. Look at these. Got some sort of Spider-Man, Jordan 1, Air Forces. These are actually kind of dope. I actually kind of dig these. I might grab these. Some other really nice Air Forces here. I think these are Nike Bayou's, yeah. This colorway is really clean. I dig this, the green and the cream. I love that. It's actually very, very clean. I wonder what this person didn't keep them. Oh, well, we got some Jordan 1's over here. Jordan 1 Lowe's. Oh, these are the golf guys too. 140 full retail. Got some nice Air Max 97's, size 6. Tons of these blazers, these green blazers. Those are pretty wild. Some Griffies. Bunch of sizes. Around retail, I think. I gotta say, I really dig these Air Maxes. I love that midsole, that's so sick. I'm gonna grab these. I know it's stupid, but I really dig them. I really like them a lot. I didn't even know there was a second floor to this place. It's a women's section. We've got actually kids too. Some 12s, some up tempos. These dunks are pretty crazy, these women's dunks. 120, full retail. Cool to see though. Size 10 and a half men's. So we got some dunks right here. That's crazy. Ooh, what are these? The Just Do It's? Oh, these are sick. No price, but size 8 men's. So I'm gonna have to grab these too. I'm really stoked on that. Yo, that spot was crazy. We got so many good things. Really, really stoked on that. Now let's go to the final spot. Okay, we're at the final stop. We're at the uh, outlets in South Jersey. And honestly, I don't know how any outlet today is gonna beat what we found in Center City, Philadelphia, but we're gonna try. We're gonna see what happens. First stop, Nike refurbished. One of these Air Max Bliss. Never seen these before. These blazers are pretty cool. They're super hairy. Watch these guys. They are 66 bucks. That's not bad. Men's size eight. I might actually grab these because these are fire. These are actually really nice. Some more blazers down here. Some flame blazers. Slightly imperfect. 55 bucks. Some LeBrons. Gently worn. Not bad. For 100, I feel like everything's not bad. There's nothing amazing though. Got these guys. Never see these at outlets. Zoom Flight 95s. Like those a lot. Let's look. We got these, which I think are ISPAs, right? So our Delta 3s. I was wrong. Hold up. We got some dunks. We got some dunks. Wow, look at these. Size 12. Tie dye dunks. I'll have to grab these. They're 130, but you can't really get these for, well, I guess these are under retail online, but I'm still gonna grab them. We've got those 11 Zoom Comforts. They're kind of wild. So these are Air Jordan 11 Lows, but they're comfort versions, so they've got a softer midsole, but they're not they are not the same thing. Got some Jordan series here, and it's like mint and white colorway. So these are uh, Nike by Daisy. These are a Pegasus, I think. Pegasus 39, Fly Ease. I actually really dig that colorway, I'm not gonna lie. Not something I wanna grab, but pretty cool. We got some Presto Utilities for 109, usually 155, not bad. These, I've never seen these before. Nike, oh, Nike 3 Metcom 4s, I have seen these before. So got these guys from two weeks ago, and these guys. These look so much like Air Forces and so much like dunks. It's crazy. I always see them at the outlets. I'm always like, wow. Wow. Something nuts, and then it's whatever this is, the Court Visions. Not a bad shoe, but now when you're looking for something special and you see these, you're like, oh, and then uh, got some more Nike Air Trainer 1s. A bunch of them, too. For 89, 97, instead of 125, that's not bad. Got some good stuff, and I'm surprised I didn't tell you guys about it. I'll tell you guys about that in a minute. We did grab one extra pair of sneakers at that outlet. It was behind the counter. It was actually behind the checkout and uh, they had it for 20% off. Wow, you're so dominant. Which is amazing. So we'll go back to the house and show you guys what it is. But uh, yeah, pair of dunks, kind of crazy. All right, so we are back from our Nike outlet adventure. and We got a lot of stuff. Now, obviously, this time around, we only went to three Nike outlets instead of four because last time I didn't realize that one of the Nike outlets that we were going to wasn't actually a Nike outlet and instead was just a Nike store, so we skipped that one. But regardless, we found a lot of really great sneakers. In fact, almost just as many as last time, and uh, I think we spent a decent amount less, too. Maybe not a decent amount, but a little bit less. But first, before we check out the sneakers that we picked up from the outlets, some of which you guys might not have seen yet, let me tell you guys about our upcoming Apothecary Sock collaboration with Oh, it's Teddy. So I'm a huge fan of Teddy. We started around the same time, and he's just one of the most genuine and awesome people. And not only that, he's also an incredible artist, both tattoo and otherwise. So when we had the opportunity to collaborate with him on a collection of socks, I was super excited because I knew they would turn out amazing, and they actually turned out way better than I even could have imagined. Mm. Gotcha, 10. So as you guys can see, this collection comes with four different sock styles. The first one is this Medic sock style, which I really love. You've got the red and the green. The second is this Swallow. I think it's a Swallow. I'm not actually sure which bird it is. Yo, Teddy, you gotta let me know which bird this is because I don't know, but regardless, it looks amazing. Is it a Sparrow? It might be a Sparrow. I think it's a Sparrow coming at you. 
Moving on, next up we've got Cherry Blossoms, which look amazing on this pair of socks. And then by far, not by far, but my favorite one out of this collection is the Dragon Sock. It's just an insane looking pair of socks. I love it. Really stoked on this entire collection. I cannot wait for it to drop. It drops officially on March 10th at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Make sure to check them out. Link in the description below. And I've also left a link to Teddy's YouTube channel if you guys want to learn more about the man himself. But now with these fire socks aside, let's take a look at some fire sneakers that we picked up at the outlet for some fire deals. All right, so let's start things off with the first outlet that we went to. And the first pair that we grabbed was this pair of Nina Chanel Air Jordan 2s. Now these guys, I believe retail for 225 bucks. Now I'm not totally sure if we got these for a discount. No, it doesn't look like we did. These officially released, I think, at the end of last year. This is the low top green colorway. There's also a high top red colorway, which is very similar to the OG 2s. Really awesome pair of sneakers. This collaboration did not get enough love. But needless to say, I was happy to see this shoe at the outlet. It's definitely a little bit more minimalistic than the standard Air Jordan 2s. It's got this very smooth white leather upper accented by some suede on the toe. And of course that like one piece green leather accent on the heel. It's not for everybody, but I dig the way it looks. It's very clean, it's very simple. Now, unfortunately, because these were at the outlet, they did not have a box top. I have no idea what these go for now. I'm assuming I overpaid for these because I could probably grab these online for cheaper. I don't know, there was multiple pairs of these at the outlet, so that's just what I'm assuming. I guess I'll leave the resale value right there at the bottom of the screen to show you guys how badly I made out on these because I'm almost certain that I overpaid for these. I'm sure I can get these online for cheaper, but regardless, still a cool pickup, still a cool shoe. The fact that these shoes are going for less than what I paid for them does not mean they're a bad sneaker. It just means I'm stupid, so there you go. Next up, we got the sneaker. This is a size nine and a half Nike Dunk High. So this shoe, I actually don't remember what shoe, oh, okay. I actually really dig this shoe. So this is a Nike Dunk High that I've never seen before, at least not online that I know of, and I don't know exactly what the name of the shoe is. Hold on. Nike Dunk High Retro PRM Cracked Leather Swoosh. Okay, these actually look different in person than online. So online, they look like just a, a white and gray Nike swoosh. In person, they've actually got this nice pink outsole, which I really like. Now I grabbed these shoes, I think for, Again, probably more than I should have paid for them. Let me see. I grabbed these for 135 on StockX to go for 93 bucks. So again, overpaid, but that's okay. I honestly didn't know any better. This is a size nine and a half, so I could rock this. I might actually keep this and rock this. I'm not sure yet, but I do dig that cracked Nike swoosh. It's a little bit different. My favorite part of the shoe is definitely the pink outsole. I think that's a nice touch. I love hits of pink, subtle hits of pink. You've got this canvas upper. You've got this sort of cracked leather uh, overlay, which looks pretty nice, white laces. I mean, it's a clean, very wearable pair of Nike Dunk Highs. Now, obviously it's not that hyped up because it's not really going for anything, but regardless, still a cool find. I definitely still like this sneaker. All right, so the next outlet, of course, was the Center City outlet. We found a lot of really great stuff. And the first thing that we grabbed was this pair of custom Air Force Ones. I really took a risk on these. I really took a chance because I have no idea. Um, they are a size nine. Whew. So this is essentially a Chicago colorway or like the uh, the Spider-Man What's it called the um, the origins? It's a very similar colorway I'm assuming that's what the person who designed this shoe is going for You've got the white leather upper with the red overlays the black Nike swoosh and then of course the sort of light blue outsole I'm wondering if they didn't let people go with the red outsole because they didn't want people making one-for-one one Chicago's because I've experienced that every time I've tried to make a custom sneaker on Nike There's usually like a couple color combinations that they don't let you make presumably because they want to keep the hype for some of those particular colorways so that's probably what happened here regardless it's a very clean shoe I don't remember exactly how much I paid for these okay so these guys I got for they were 140 and I got them for 126 and apparently the reason I got them for cheaper I got everything from this store 10% off because my birthday is this month which I didn't realize was a thing they didn't do it at any of the other Nike outlets I went to a Nike outlet first and then another one after this one they only did it at this one outlet not sure why but I guess it's good that it was at the outlet that I spent the most money so happy about that but after all was said and done I spent 126 bucks on these Air Force Ones, and honestly, not bad. The next pickup of the day were the Air Jordan 1 Gorge Greens. These are a size 11. Now we grabbed these at the previous outlet last week, or two weeks ago when I last dropped the video, and we got them for, I think, full retail. I think, it might've been a little bit cheaper, I'm not sure. Either way, we got these for 10% off. Unfortunately, they don't have a box top, and they're not my size, they're size 11, like I said, but uh, they're still brand new. Do they come with all the laces? It doesn't look like they come with the other laces. That's a bummer. Okay, well, we got brand new shoes without a box top or extra laces for 10% off. The Gorge Green Air Jordan 1s are an awesome pair of sneakers. These do go for below retail on StockX. I'm not sure exactly what they go for in a size 11. I'll make sure to leave uh, the resale price right there at the bottom of the screen. I have a feeling, <laughs> I have a really bad feeling that uh, every single shoe that we grabbed, I could have grabbed for cheaper online, but that's fine. It's more about the hunt, but I'm like, I'm almost certain I'm losing like, I don't know, at least a couple hundred bucks from this video, which is probably stupid. I probably will end up selling a lot of these on whatnot. So if you guys want to check out my whatnot live stream, there will be a link in the description below. These uh, retailed at 180. I got them for 10% off, which is 18 bucks. And I paid 162 for them. So not terrible. And then the final shoe that we grabbed from the Nike outlet was this pair of women's Nike Dunks. 
Now this is a really cool colorway. This is, I think the Just Do It colorway. I don't think I've ever seen these before. I love the aged midsole. I think it looks amazing. I love the maroon colored upper. I wish it was a leather and not this sort of like faux leather textured thing going on. But uh, definitely a dope looking colorway on a dope shoe. It's a size nine and a half women, so it's a size eight men's, which is unfortunate. I might've kept these if these were my size. Really cool sneaker pickup. Did not expect to find these. These were just sitting on the wall. And we grabbed these again for 10% off. So I think these retailed for 120. I got them for 108, which is not bad. I actually, let me check the resale price on these. With a lot of the other shoes, I know what they go for. I know generally what they go for. This one, I have, I have no clue. I don't even know what the official name of this shoe is. Okay, the Nike Dunk Low SE Just Do It Sale Team Red. We actually grabbed these for cheaper than they go for online. They go for around 115 bucks. We grabbed these for 108. Last sale was 119, not bad. Still under retail, but uh, we grabbed them for under retail. So there we go, first shoe to not lose money on. <laughs> At least that I, that I can tell. I think that's probably the case actually. All right, so on to the last outlet. You know what, I don't care if we're losing money. I had a blast. It's so much fun to go to the outlets and try and find things. The one thing I was kind of disappointed about was that we didn't find anything that great in the refurbished section, but uh, the refurbished section is the most exciting part because everything's half off and you can usually find some pretty decent stuff. Today we didn't find anything crazy, at least nothing worth picking up, but there really can be a lot of great stuff in the refurbished section, as you guys might've seen from last week's episode. If you haven't seen, make sure to click the link at the top of the screen, but uh, definitely worth checking out next time that you're at the outlet. For the first shoe that we grabbed from this final outlet was the Nike Dunk High 1985 SP in yellow tie-dye is the official colorway, I believe. This was a shoe that I actually tried to grab for retail when it dropped in the sneakers app in my size, and unfortunately, I missed out. They were sitting at a sneaker store in Canada when I went with uh, with Tom, but this is the first time that I actually picked up a pair. Now that I have them in hand, I don't love this colorway, I'm not gonna lie, but it was still a cool find, and this box is actually pretty dope. So the cool thing about this shoe is that like the Air Jordan 185s, this shoe is designed to be cut just like the original 1985 Nike Dunk Highs. So it's got all the same shapes of panels on the upper. The midsole much more closely resembles the midsole of the original 1985 Nike Dunks. Both the Dunks and the Air Jordan 1s came out in the same year. The Air Jordan 1s were significantly more popular at the time. And I guess that's just kind of history. Now both shoes are incredibly popular. And even right now, Dunks might be more popular than Air Jordan 1s. They kind of fluctuate in terms of popularity. But really interesting looking shoe, this sort of yellow acid wash, unfortunately, seems to be a print, which I'm kind of bummed out about, I'm not gonna lie, but I guess that's okay. I thought it was like stained or painted on there, but no, it's a print. Well, regardless, these shoes are brand new. They don't have any wear on the outsole. They've got the laces, or at least one of the shoes has the extra set of laces. Only other thing that kind of stinks is that they're missing the box top, and I grabbed these for, ooh, actually under retail. I thought I grabbed these for full retail. Grab them for 104. Oh, that's way better than I thought. This is actually a nice pickup now. I'm stoked on this. So I know that they're probably selling for less than retail online, but uh, maybe not less than what I paid for them. So that's a good thing, I guess. Now they're going for 94 online. All right, well, only $10 over. The last sale was 100 bucks, so maybe only $4 over. But uh, all right, moving on to the final shoe that we picked up. This is a shoe that I didn't show you guys because it was behind the counter at the final outlet. I don't film the counter area because I don't think they, I don't think they'd appreciate that to be honest with you. But very interesting pair of shoes. I've actually never seen this shoe before, so I don't know what the colorway of this shoe is. But a pair of Dunks, as you guys probably could tell, the Nike Dunk High somethings. These are the Soul Goods Olive. These are actually going for some decent money. This is actually a decent pickup. I'm actually really happy about this. Okay, cool. What do we pay for these? So they were retail 155, which is about what they go for online, but we paid 20% off, which is 124 bucks. So we got $31 off, paid 124, made 25 bucks. There you go. That's decent, I'm actually really happy with that. <laughs> At least today wasn't a total loss. This is actually a very cool looking pair of Nike Dunks. I like this a lot. I like this really nice sort of army green or olive suede. You've got this black on black midsole. You've got the black laces with the black eye stays and the black uh, tongue. Very, very cool sneaker. I love the packaging for this shoe as well. I like the logo back there. Is that a tiger eye on the bottom of the shoe? That's sick. Yeah, this is a dope sneaker. I actually really like this. I wish it was in my size. Kind of bummed about that, but regardless, still a nice pickup. And this might be the most profitable pickup of the day, unfortunately. Didn't see that coming, but hey, there you go. Didn't even mean to leave this till last. I thought that I was gonna have a shoe that was just not worth anything last, but this shoe was actually worth the most. So that's great. So I guess to round things off, the last place that we went this time was the first place that we went last time, but is also probably the best place this time. It's getting confusing. They're all fine. You can find some really great pickups at the Nike outlet. The only reason I make these videos is because it's really fun to go to the Nike outlet, see what they have, and kind of just hunt and see what we find. So let me know your thoughts on this series in the comment section down below. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing this. If you guys are interested in seeing just purely Nike outlet hauls, let me know in the comments. But I guess with all that being said, if you guys want to check out more videos on this channel, make sure to click the links on your screen somewhere, and I'll see you guys in the next one.